Hi, uh, today I will have a brief introduction about the uh, Google Cloud Platform, uh, especially the healthcare API, uh, FHIR. FHIR means Fast Healthcare Interoperability Resources. It's a data standard to exchange healthcare data electronically. First, we need to know what is the Google Cloud Healthcare API. Uh, the API has some major functions. The first one is to host data in the in standard format. As I mentioned, it's a, a file format. We can upload our healthcare data into the cloud. And with that, of course, we can access the data anywhere. Uh, besides, there are a lot of tools uh, built in, in the cloud. And uh, this healthcare data can use these tools, for example, data process, and uh, BigQuery, this is a machine learning tool, and uh, 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 and also visualization with the built-in uh, built-in application or third-party application like Tableau. Uh, besides that, we can simplify the application development and device integration because everything is hosted in cloud with standard format. And the key here, as I highlighted, is the standard format that makes the data exchange easier. Uh, another one is the cloud tools. Uh, that's why we want to host it in cloud, because we want to use those tools. Let's have more details uh, uh, on the FHIR standards. The FHIR means fast healthcare interoperability resources, and the key here is the interoperability. That means uh, with this standard format, uh, we can do a lot of uh, operation from different devices and by different people. And the Google Cloud uh, Fire API or the Healthcare a Care API uh, have uh, provided full support for STU3 resources, that's the uh, latest standards. And uh, also the Cloud API can transform data from other format into and out of Fire resources. That makes make a lot of things easier because we can transfer the format to stand format very easily in the cloud. Uh, lastly, lastly uh, the, the cloud makes it very easy to interact with those uh, file resources in RESTful API. Uh, for example, we can use uh, the standard GET or POST or PUT methods to access those resources. The right graph is shows some of the resources in the FHIR standard. For example, for pa you have patient, you have device, you have coverage, and the for each resource, there is uh, a fixed definition, and uh, you can fill in a lot of fields with these clouds. Here is a concrete example of how to get a resource from the clouds. We are assuming we have hosted some data set in the cloud, and the left part shows the request you need to send. The curl it uh, uh, can be used to send uh, 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 send uh, uh, RESTful command, like uh, here we are using get. And uh, in, in in the request itself, we need to uh, uh, we we just need to follow this format and fill in our own uh, file store ID or resource ID and. Uh, when this, this request is sent to the cloud, we will get a response whether uh, the operation is successful or not. And if it's successful, we will get a JSON string containing the resources we are requesting. Here we are requesting observation, and we will get details about that observation. Let's have some use cases about Google Cloud Healthcare. API. As uh, I mentioned, uh, this API has two major functions. One is standardization. It can convert to a standard format. The other is it can use the, the cloud tools. In cloud tools, for example, machine learning, making the data analysis much easier. So the first use case is uh, for the provider. It can store a lot of the hospital billing data into the cloud and use the cloud tools, for example, analytics and the machine learning tools to predict future billing and revenue. This makes things almost real-time and very easy. 
another use case. Uh, for the patients, we can build a portal which relies on the cloud, and the patient can view the uh, uh, historical healthcare data from from his portal directly. For example, he can view his uh, historical blood pressure uh, using this Google C Cloud uh, plotting tools. Lastly, uh, and for this course, uh, students can define their own CDI servers. CDI servers is uh, kind of uh, uh, you get a fair response uh, uh, when you when it is triggered by a by a, a UI event, and we can host the CDI service in the cloud. Uh, so a lot of students are, can access it and practice. Now let's have more details about how to leverage uh, Google Cloud Healthcare API in this course. Uh, the first thing is uh, we clearly we can create an example dataset in this cloud and it will be automatically converted to file format. Besides, we can utilize machine learning tools to analyze the data in real time. That's a major function of the cloud. Otherwise, why we want to transfer the data to the cloud? Uh, three and we can demonstrate the conversion of data to standard file format and this will help a lot of students to get a good idea of uh, how the file uh, standard format works. Besides, uh, the, the, the service we hosted on cloud will open a lot of rest of API and uh, using this API the students can practice how to get file resources. All our pre previous uh, slides are a bit uh, abstract, and now we will have some concrete example of uh, how to use the Google Cloud API. Here are some key takeaways. Uh, I show a figure in the right. It actually shows the interface, and you can see there is an API window, and you will, you can monitor the request to those API from your account. Okay, start from beginning, we need to create a project, then enable billing, because it's a cloud service, everything will be billed to your account. Next, we will create service account keys, this is uh, uh, used to secure your account. Uh, number four, we will just uh, uh, start to enable this healthcare API, and then we need to download the uh, cloud tool called uh, Google Cloud SDK and this is more like a, a command prompt in Windows and you can input a command from there and this this command will do operations in the in the cloud. Uh, six, uh, we can create a data set using the POST request. You, you just do it in the SDK. Uh, then you can how d you, you you can view those data sets you created in the cloud using get request. You send the get request and you get the details of the data set and the data within it. Uh, besides, you can create and view file stores which exist in those data sets. File stores is kind of like storage unit in a data set. This set is more like a larger, uh, larger project, and uh, and uh, within those data sets, there are uh, there are five resources like a patient resource, billing resource, or practitioner resource, and you can create or, or update file resources using post or put command in the SDK prompt. Uh, lastly, if you don't want some data sets, uh, you can or resource, you can use delete command to send the request. As I mentioned, the most important function of Google Cloud is to, is to do in-cloud data analysis. And here are some uh, example commands that can do a search uh, using POST requests and also do some analytics and machine learning using BigQuery too. BigQuery is a built-in analytics tool in Google Cloud. The right part, the, the black box, that's uh, actually the actual interface of the, the PowerShell. 
the the Google Cloud SDK I mentioned in previous slides. So now you should have a very good idea of how this cloud works. Everything is actually works from this PowerShell and uh, through post or get or put commands. To summarize this presentation, we have brief introduction of the Google Cloud Health API, especially the Fire API. And there are two major benefits of the Google Cloud. One is the standard based APIs. For example, this Fire format makes interoperation much easier. Uh, besides, uh, the cloud have a lot of analytics and uh, machine learning tools, and uh, that's a major, uh, major motivation why we want to use this. Uh, why we want to use this Google Cloud and put the data into the cloud. And uh, uh, I hope this presentation help you get a good idea of the Google Cloud itself. And uh, thank you very much. Bye.